Well, hello everybody. I'm Joyce Burgess and I am joined with my wonderful, remarkable friend, <laughs> Angela Valentine in Chicago. I'm here in Louisiana. So I just want to say hello and I just want to say thank you to all of our PATH parents, parents as teachers at home. Thank you so much for your overwhelming response to our invitation to be a part of PATH, to take the journey with us through homeschooling. You know, we've had some really wonderful times and we've recorded all of those broadcast and you know at some point we I guess we're gonna load everything up. I want to say I think it's all loaded on our YouTube page. Also it's it's re it's replayable. If you scroll back through some of our Facebook posts, you will see the lessons. And you know they're just great gems, great jewels for training and, and teaching your children at home. And I know that things are kind of, well, shall I say, going back to somewhat normal, but still, those of us who are still teaching our children at home, these lessons will show themselves even more valuable to you as the time as time goes by. So once again, I just wanna say thank you, PATH parents, Thank you moms and dads for allowing your children to join us for the NBHE Nurturing Series Path as well as Hour of Code. And we have had some amazing times with some top-notch, fierce little girls. I tell yeah. you, watch our world, <laughs> watch our world. That's all I have to say. We have some fierce little girls that's coming up to uh, just take take it to the next level to you know for this next generation these young girls in our of code have just decided that they just want to rule the world right angela and angela <laughs> is do. going to tell us a little bit more we're going to talk to you about how these fierce young girls uh, are, are, are coming along with our of code we're also going to tell you about doodle for google and then we're going to tell you about Noodle for NBHE. <laughs> but I just want to say something that Shakespeare said about fierce little girls. Now, I'm very short. I'm about 5'3". But Shakespeare said, though she be small, yet she be fierce. Yes. And that's why I, I, I labeled these young ladies fierce, because they're not afraid. You know, they have their creative they just want to get out there and just change the world and i can't wait to in the very near future to upload some of our hour of code uh, events so that you can see these little girls and of course i'm not going to forget about our little boys too now angela right right right, right. Had some really good comments and suggestions and creative thoughts from our little boys as well so we don't want to forget the little boys you know just children in general and so I'm, i encourage you to go to nbhe.net if you would like to register for our of code if we've missed you please charge it to our head not our heart we will uh, send you a notification for the next hour of code which will be April 3rd. We're gonna take this time off, a week off, but we're gonna resume everything April 3rd. So you will be getting those notifications. All right, Angela, tell us about um, Hour of Code. Is that is that where you wanna start first? You know, we were talking about um, Hour of Code and we called it um, Hour of Code back in December. And that first mm -hmm. week of December, I think it was, which is the annual hour of code across across the globe. And we participated um, for the first time in hour of code. And then it was so successful that we said, we're gonna keep it going because our whole, I'm sorry, I'm my allergies are cutting up. And I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. So if I do, just please forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to put it on mute if I do. But okay. um, what, what, we, what we discovered was with that first hour of code that the kids were so engaged and so excited. I said, we've got to keep this momentum going. The whole thing of the 12-week the path program that we did was to give information, 
but also the second part of that was to get families engaged, right? We're all kind of uh, still on this lockdown for a little bit in some shape, form or fashion. And we wanted to get the kids together on an online platform in a safe environment with the parents and have learning mm -hmm. for the parents and the kids. And it's mm -hmm. just picked up steam from there. And I'm just so delighted and so mm -hmm. excited about what we're doing. I really feel like the, the page says, we're a community now, right? Because we're, we're coming to the table, you're um, passing out the knowledge, we're sharing ideas, we're bringing guest speakers. I mean, it's just everything that I ever dream in a homeschool organization. So I'm absolutely loving it. With me being a Google certified trainer, I always have content almost like on a daily basis, they're releasing something new. Oh, we've got a new perk for the trainers to share with your audiences and your teachers. So I'm like, I just need some place to put it. And I'm thankful that I have this platform to share with our kids, you know, um, all the wonderful things that uh, it's available to them free of charge right now. And I, I'm just loving it. I'm loving it. So yes, mm -hmm. let's start with um, Hour of Code. And you were talking about our fierce little girls. Well, in yes. our last session, and I, I'm gonna call it a planning session because the ideas were all over the table. I asked one question and we went an hour from there just talking about things we could do. But the um, fierce little girls of ours have already renamed our hour of code to coding with friends. So I'm like, I love that. <laughs> Nice. Because they're all, we've challenged them all to bring a friend. And if they bring a friend, then Miss Joyce is going to give them a little gift. So they already <laughs> know that if they bring a new friend to our coding event, because we do want to get the word out to other kids. And I oh, like the fact that they are inviting their friends because if they're on, then what's the likelihood of their friend joining? They're going to join too, right? So right. what we wanted to do for this um time together is Joyce and I just, I'm going to share my screen and I'm just going to show you a few things that um, we've talked about some things we've done. And just to kind of give you a little taste of the vision of what we're going to do coming down the pike for the month of April. We're kind of taking this time to step back and say what's working, what's not, and let's move forward with some of the things that are really uh, beginning to take steam. So one of the things, and I'm just gonna, I, I want to share my screen because I want to direct you to the community of NBHE. Everything that's going on within NBHE right now is on this page. We try to keep you updated parents. So if you have not joined and liked this page, please do. Um, this is where a lot of our events will be posted. And then from time to time, we're going to try our best to share those out to our personal pages. But this is where it's happening right now. And it's MBHE, um, community of MBHE. If you want the link, it's uh, facebook.com forward slash community NBHE. And that will take you directly to our page. So the first thing here you'll see is the congratulations that we created. Mm -hmm for our contestants for the 2021 Doodle for Google contest. Now this is very special because this is the first year that NBHE has entered this contest. It's normally been, as far as I understand, K through 12 in the public school system, um, and they opened it up for organizations and homeschools, et cetera. So this is mm -hmm. our first time participating as a you know homeschool organization. And we did have some brave soldiers that not only started the process, but took it all the way through to the end, to the actual entry to Google's global contest for the year. So we would like to congratulate Samantha, Shabrian, and Dorian. Dorian is my son and I'm so proud of him. This is his second time entering, but, um, and with a little coaxing from mommy, of course. <laughs> so I had to kind of make him do some things, but that's good, he, he follows through. So we're so glad at, uh, about these ladies and this um, young man that have, um, express to us why they are strong. The theme this year was I am strong because. Dorian mentioned that he's strong because of his education. And then they have to create a little graphic around Google, right? This is him mm -hmm. in his laptop doing distance learning. He wears glasses, so he has glasses there that make him smart. He's got a good ear for listening and there's a measuring stick and his, his brain there makes him very smart. So he's strong because of his solid education. Isn't that cute? <laughs> and then, 
Yeah. And then Samantha, she entered and said she is strong because of her faith in God and because she can do all things through Christ. And the, all the things that she listed was one is tennis and she loves loves Legos. She wants to be a police officer. That's a little police officer symbol there. And the T is the cross of Christ. And then there's a little chef at the end. She loves cooking. So it's bright <laughs> and it's sunny and it's all the happy things that she loves to do. And that's why she's strong. She can do all of these things through Christ. That was her thing. And then she, Brie, we call her Brie. Um, she had an entry. She used the letters of Google to talk about how her mother beat cancer. And she's got a, a mug here. That's a tea mug that her, her mother used to for comforting. And there's this, this, the first always a picture of her mom and then the music that they used and then the little um, chemotherapy tube that her mother had. And then the, um, the colors of the different cancers and then the mask, which represents, you know, 2020 when we had to all wear masks. So she's strong because her mother beat cancer and that gives her strength. And it was just a very, all the stories are just good and they were moving, and they were heartfelt and we really appreciate the effort that our kids put into our first doodle for Google contest. So okay. you can visit it here and we're going to, we're going to share it out. We're going to make it a big deal. Um, Google will be announcing they've gotten all the entries as of March 5th. And now they're in the process of judging them all. The final winner, whoever they choose will get a $30,000 scholarship for the child and then $50,000 scholarship for the organization or school for a tech grant in the means of a tech grant. So it's a big deal. <laughs> so I'm just glad we represent it. I'm glad we represent it. And Joyce, I appreciate you too, because you have offered to um, just reward the kids for, for, you know, in our own personal MBHE contest for submitting it. And I always tell them it's it's not if, if you win, that's gravy. But the point is, we're able to participate in events like this. We have a seat at the table. We have opportunity. And that's my whole point is bringing opportunity to our kids that they may absolutely. not have had before. So we're glad about absolutely. that. Yes. Absolutely. I also want to. Um, did you want to have any you have anything else to say about the, the uh, Google contest, Joyce? I'm just happy that the, the children participated. We definitely want more children to participate yes. because, you know, this is something that's available to you and you could possibly win great prizes yes. just for entering. So yes. entering. So we, we just want to make sure that you know where we are, community of NBHE, so that we can keep you updated with all of the great free stuff, free stuff. That's out absolutely, there. absolutely. And for the parents, uh, I did want to mention too, these are shareable links on the page. So you're welcome to share um, mm -hmm. the links of your child or all the kids if you'd like to do that as well. Absolutely. And this opens every January of every year. So we hope to keep this going and have, like as Joy said, more kids entering um, in the upcoming years. Definitely. Okay, and the next thing we wanted to just call to your attention, last week we had a, a very special guest with us, um, Daniel Valentine, no relation that I know of <laughs> to me and my family, but uh, you never know, but he's with Grand Canyon University and he's an admissions advisors for the homeschoolers. His job is just to help homeschoolers only and exclusively. Um, so that's what he does um, all the time. And he came on and gave us some good information about developing your child's transcript for um, your high school transcript for college and what are some of the things that they're looking for in the homeschoolers and their transcripts. So that was very, very good. I recommend that you go back and listen to that if you have not had an opportunity to. Wonderful, wonderful resources. Also, this Saturday, moms, 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 moms. Um, I talked Joyce into allowing me <laughs> to bring yeah. the I Am Remarkable uh, workshop to our, our parents, not just moms, but dads too. Um, but especially this being the uh, month of the woman, right? The history of the woman's history month, I think it is. Yeah. Um, so in light of that, I wanted to bring this uh, remarkable <laughs> workshop to our mothers, to our females, to our daughters, our um, 
uh, aunts, <laughs> cousins, exactly. um, those that, exactly. so that it, I don't want to give away too much of the workshop, but it will be well worth your time. It was so successful. It started off as a Google program in their company and it was so successful and it helps so many women that they let, mm -hmm. you know, any, they opened the program up. So I decided when I went through the program that I was so impacted by it that I wanted to become a facilitator and take this program to as many women as I possibly could. So we invite you to come out with us this, <laughs> this Saturday, the 27th at, yes. I think, is it on here? It's Nine. on the um, 9 o'clock. 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to get the the date right because sometimes I get my little my dates off my days run together but March 27th at 9 a.m. and we're actually going to run it an hour 9 to 10 and not 10 30 I need to shorten it a little bit but if you can yeah. spend an hour with this with us this Saturday it will be well worth your time we're giving the kids a break and we just want to do something special for the women in our organization and your friends and your relatives whoever you want to invite this is a free event we just want to build you up we want to celebrate all that you are and the remarkable women that you have been throughout this past year. And even now, you know, it takes a lot to homeschool, but on top of a pandemic as well, <laughs> you know, sometimes we need know. to go ahead. No, I don't want to interrupt you. Go. No, I was just going to say, we just need to take a moment to celebrate ourselves sometimes. Absolutely. And that's what I was going to lead into a lot of times as women, we do so much for everybody else. Yes. We're daughters, we're aunts, we're moms, we're wives. And rarely do we get a chance to just shout ourselves out. Yes. You know, why are you remarkable? You know, does it even sting to say why you're remarkable? And I definitely don't want to give away what's going to happen on our <laughs> on next Saturday. But I want women to know. And even I found... You know, I found one of my friends of old, longtime friends, long time ago, said she found it difficult to tell other women or to give pay compliments to other women. Mm. She just couldn't do it. And I mean, it's just so sad that, you know, let alone women not encouraging themselves and thinking that they're somebody. But right. then other women you know, because of the jealousy or whatever, you know, to hold yes. you back, that crab mentality. Yes. We, you know, yes. we rarely can give each other compliments. And That's because we, we all have, everybody, every woman has something that she can work with, every yes. woman, yes. you know? And, yes. we, you know, there's a scripture in the Bible that I love and it talks about comparing ourselves. It says mm -hmm. that we should not compare ourselves one with another because that's unwise to do. Yes. Each and every one of us has something that we can bring to the table, something unique, something different, something amazing about ourselves that we can yes. feel really, really good about. So I just wanted to say that. I hope you can come out and, and just talk about yourself. Yes. And we will, the whole workshop is don't feel like you have to come and just talk, do a bunch of talking. We just want to um, provide a platform to understand how we can um, give ourselves credit for some things that we've done. Right. Absolutely. And, just, and, and be comfortable in doing that. It's a muscle that we have to exercise being That's able right. to just talk about our accomplishments. It's not a bragging, right. you know, right. thing or anything. It's not right. about any of that. It's about um, just giving voice to your accomplishments, the thing you think. Not you being quite Yeah, right. none of that. <laughs> it, you'll okay. love it. I just want you to come. That's all I want to say about it. But let's do this if you don't mind. If you there's a link here to register, it's a Bitly link, and if you click that Bitly link in the post, then there is a NBHE just a sign up sheet, so we'll know how many to expect, so we can plan accordingly. And again, it's free of charge. We just need you to sign up for that if you're interested. It, okay. Excellent. That is going to be so wonderful. So wonderful. Yeah. So that's mm -hmm. just a few things, Joyce, that I wanted to bring to the table today. You may have other things to discuss, but um, we're looking ahead for the month of April. It's spring. <laughs> we're ready to get out and do some things, but uh, there is a very bright future for MBHE and some of the content that's coming, quality content. I'm telling you, please, parents don't sleep on this opportunity 
get on board, as we get our kids involved. I'm going to bring guest speakers in from maybe Google, all these places that I know and people that I'm meeting to come in and talk to our kids and talk to our parents about opportunities. There's just so much coming down the pike. I, I encourage you to get involved and to stay connected with us. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Well said. And and we just want to shout out to Angela Valentine in the midst of all of her busy work. She finds time to give to NBHE, her, her husband. And we want to say thank you to her husband and to her yeah. son for allowing her to be just a wonderful, wonderful blessing in our lives. And she's right. You know, there's so much that NBHE has to offer. Joining with Angela is ADV scholars.com visit her website yes. and 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 email her and just get involved with technology because to be honest with you as we saw during everything that that happened going on technology was here for us we were able to see each other once again i've never <laughs> met angela in person but we have been on you know we we communicate at least oh my gosh maybe 10 times a week <laughs> and, and we're on at least two or three zooms in a week and yeah. i just feel like you know that's my sister i love yeah. her i'm just so grateful to her, and i'm not going to start crying <laughs> but in bhe you know I, I i appreciate those of you who have been patient with this organization as we have tried to find our legs you know we're blessed that we have somewhat of a volunteer staff here i think that's going to hang with us for a while so that we can give you what you need and still be and be here for you so thank you so much for being patient with us for all these 20 years as we find out our legs and get moving sometimes in organizations you have to recalibrate i guess is the word you have yeah. to recalibrate yourself and that's where we are transitioning and I'm just, you know, hoping that the transition is swift, and um, you know, we can continue to give you the great things that that will help to grow your family and your children. And one thing that we are looking at in April is doing, you know, Google is just amazing. Google company, I guess that's a Google organization or how, whatever they call themselves. You know, it's not, you really don't have to reinvent the wheel because Google just sets it up for you. And, and yes. all of that information uh, is, a, is, assess, is accessible for us. So NBHE is going to do what we call noodle for NBHE. Now, I love eating noodles. Yeah, you know, I think about pasta. You know, that's all noodles. But when you think about noodles, especially if you're thinking about, you know, is there a difference, Angela, between linguine and noodles or is it all noodles? I think it's the shape. I think the linguine, shape. is it a little flatter and wider? Yeah. Linguine. What are noodles? Noodles, are they more elbow? Like spaghetti, I think. I don't know. Okay. I'm not the noodle. <laughs> now, if I'm going to talk about noodles, I'm talking about spaghetti, you know, yeah. just a long string yeah. of spaghetti. And if you take that long string of spaghetti, you can almost, you know, write or, you know, draw like maybe make an O or making a letter or maybe make a number. But we're going to do noodles. So that's essentially going to be drawing, you know, creating art for NBHE. And in the month of April, we're going to have a contest. And we want you to, Angela is going to, to create our template that's going to be on our website where you can download it. It's also going to be on our Facebook pages where you can download that for your children and your children will win a prize. I'm not going to tell you what the gift is, but the children will, it'll be, it will be a contest to where the children can have something fun to do and be rewarded for it as, in some way. And maybe we can all give certificates to all of the children who participate and just have like an award ceremony online for these children because parents, our children need to know that they are valued and that somebody, and I know they know that from mom and dad, but outside of that, our children need to know that, you know, hey, I'm important, you know, I'm valued. And so we just want the National Black Home Educators myself and Angela just want you to know that we value your family. So that's all I had to say about that. 
And I'm sure other things will be coming, but we don't want to overwhelm you with what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, we get ideas all day, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've been working on this three years, right? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So Absolutely. I'm just really happy. Okay. Well, okay. I have nothing else to say. Uh, I just want to say Happy Easter, everybody. We're, we're going to post this up. It's going to be up next Wednesday, uh, probably the week of Easter. We're just going to take that time off. But happy Easter to you all. Just enjoy our happy Resurrection Day. Yes. You know, just enjoy your time with your family. Cook a whole lot of food and eat a lot of food. <laughs> <laughs> I know we do. We do. Oh, boy. That's wonderful. In Louisiana down here, everybody's eating crawfish. Oh, so. yeah. Have that's you right. crawfish, Angela? No, I haven't. Oh, I haven't. oh my. <laughs> okay. I'm, hey, when I come to Louisiana, I'm sure you'll, you'll school sure. me about make, that. <laughs> yes. Make sure you get some good old gumbo and yeah. red beans and rice and crawfish. Okay. Louisiana, All right. Louisiana. All right. Looking All right. forward to it. Very so, good. Uh, Thank okay. you for your time today. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.